Hey guys. Wow, Jesus gave me two messages today. Um, I was out bowling, and then when I got done bowling, because um, my husband and I are on a league, um, he poured his spirit out on me when I was waiting in the car. All right, so here's the message. Um, it's kind of long, so I might have to do two parts. We'll just see how it goes. I claim that Jesus Christ is Son of God. He's also God. He came to earth in the flesh and bled on the cross for our sins, died on the cross for us, and um, rose on the third day. Ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people because they're trying to scam you. May 30th, 2023. This is the second message. Second Thessalonians 2, 4 through 8. Who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped so that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things? And now you know what is restraining that he may be revealed in his own time. For the mystery of lawlessness... Law lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken out of the way. And then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. And he's already told me, you know, that um, the restrainer is the Holy Spirit, God, basically, because he, Sham in Hebrew is, sh is um, short, is the long word of he. Um, and he means, Hisham means Yahweh in Hebrew. So I thought that was very interesting. So when you have God in you and you remove God from the world, you remove the church. So those are the, his believers. Job 14, 11, as water disappears from the sea and a river becomes parched and dries up. Micah 3, 11, her heads judge for a bribe, her priests teach for pay and her prophets divine for money. Yet they lean on the Lord and say, is not the Lord among us? No harm can come upon us. Second Peter 1, 3, as his divine has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue. First John 1, 4, and these things we write to you that your joy may be full. Third John 1, 2, for I rejoice greatly when brethren came and testified of the truth that is in you, just as you walk in the truth. Luke 8, 3. And Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod, Stuart, and Susanna, and many others who provided for him from their substance. Guys, if you don't understand something, go and read the entire paragraph because it helps explain what something means. Galatians 5, 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Romans 9, 6. But it is not that the word of God has taken no effect, for they are not all Israel who are of Israel. 2 Thessalonians 1 5, which is manifest evidence of the righteous judgment of God that you may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God for which you also suffer. Colossians 1 3, we give thanks to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you. So, yeah, I literally just got home and we went to um, bowling, like practice, because we do like Friday night league, me and my husband something we can do together and um we always rehearse and we went to waffle house afterwards well he gave me the message while i was in the car waiting on my husband and then finished it up in waffle house so this is kind of how the lord works guys he just pours out his spirit and i can get a message done in 15 minutes sometimes it's crazy okay here's the message my child drones are coming they will explain the rapture. The economy is about to collapse. The banks will shut down on a Friday. By Monday, you will have a new system and it will be all and it will all be digital currency. Waves are coming, my child. Great big waves. Two tsunamis will form from a 7.5 earthquake in Ecuador. I told you the ending is here. Seismic activity is coming. After the 7.5 earthquake, there will be four more high magnitude earthquakes destroying cities sevenfold. Eight is coming very soon. What do you think these warnings are for? <clears throat> I'm trying to wake you up. My child, believe in me. Confess I am Lord. I'm giving you a chance to repent from your wicked ways and believe in me with your hearts. I'm trying to save you. My heart is broken. So much defiance. So much lack of faith. All my words will come to pass. You may not know the timing of these things, but you will know my word is true. The devil is a liar. I am not a liar. Always seek me for discernment. I told you, I will reveal if your heart is in the right place. My judgment will be tenfold. It's not here yet, but it's coming. Why do you think the elite are getting their bunkers ready? They think they can hide from me, but not even underground will save them. I wish for not one to perish. 
I'm giving you warning after warning so you might believe. Even the elite I wish to save if they would repent, believe in me, and confess I am Lord. My prophets have worked so hard to save you. They have been so obedient and they have done, not, they have done everything I have asked them. Yet you taunt and curse them to their face. You should be ashamed of your wickedness. If you do not repent, you will perish. Every person who truly believes in me will have my spirit and will walk in love. It's okay to correct your neighbor if it comes from love, but make sure you seek discernment from me first. Do not rely on your own understanding. Rely on the Holy Spirit to give you truths. Pray to me to give you truths. Scolding your neighbor and hate is unacceptable and it's the fruit of the devil. Gentleness and kindness is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. I am weeding out good versus evil. I am sorting the wheat from the tares. I am almost done sorting and you will have destruction fall upon you like a woman in labor. I told you contractions had started. I told you my bride would be delivered soon. Have you started with Revelation 22? There's a reason you keep seeing 22. Have you figured it out yet? There's a reason I keep giving you repeated numbers. Look up the Bible concordances, the Greek and the Hebrew meaning. Stay away from gematria and angel numbers. I told you the devil mimics and mocks my creations. I am a God of numbers, which is why I have numbers in my word. It shows you several meanings. It uncovers the mysteries and the parables I have spoken. Turn from your idols and wicked ways. Believe in me with all of your heart and I will save you. Seek me, pray to me, and worship me. I want a relationship with you, my children. I knew you before I knit you in your mother's womb. I know the number of hairs on your head. So why do you deny me and why do you reject me? I know some of you have had lots of trials and tribulations. You thought I forgot about you and you threw in the towel and stopped believing in me. But did you ever truly believe? If you did, you would have my spirit and I would have changed your heart and renewed your mind. You would have been guided by my Holy Spirit. You would have obeyed my commandments because you love me. Examine your hearts, children. Look at the speck in your own eye before you look at the speck in your neighbor's eye. I didn't come to condemn the world. I came to save it. There is no condemnation in me, Christ Jesus, for the ones who don't know my true name, Yeshua HaMashiach. Please, children, all my warnings are about to stop. They are final. Do not let the door close on you. Be a wise virgin, not a foolish virgin. Do not let anyone steal your crown. Once I save you, you will always be saved. No angels or demons can snatch you from my hand. I won't blot your name from my book. So ask yourselves, if you once believed and you fell away, did you truly believe? My true believers will never fall away because I will change their hearts and give them a heart of flesh and remove the heart of stone. I will renew their mind. Now you will always, now you will always fall short from my glory, but the Holy Spirit I left for you will guide you and convict you. You will hear me calling you home. I would leave all 99 just to find that one. This is how much I love you. So please trust in me, repent, and believe in me with all of your heart. Remember the root word of repentance is a change of mind. Do not complicate it, children, and do not twist my words. I love you, and I will see you in the clouds soon. You're Jehovah, your rescuer and friend, and I have spoken. Okay, so I'll have to do part two because I won't have time to put it in this video. Um, but guys, believe in Jesus with all your heart. Confess he's Lord and he will save you. He doesn't want anyone to perish, okay? He loves you. Ignore the Telegram and the WhatsApp people on YouTube because they're trying to scam you for a fake orphanage. Um, guys, I don't know when Jesus is coming. I really don't. But I do know, I feel like it's time is short because he gives me these urgent messages and I'm just out and about doing my thing and and then I you know my foot either starts shaking or my hands start shaking and I get a change in my spirit and then I hear um, in my thoughts write this down and then all these thoughts just pour out like convicted by the Holy Spirit almost like a soft whisper in your head but like mixed with your thoughts it's it's kind of strange and very supernatural so take everything to Jesus <laughs> God bless